oh yes, we've got a, a really wide mix here. It's not, uh, it's not all kind of classroom lecture kind of format, although there is some of that. Uh, and, and despite what you might think um, that students would like sort of interactive stuff all the time, the feedback I get from my lectures, which are more kind of traditional in their format, is that students like that because it adds some variety to the more practical sessions that they will get on the other modules. We actually cater for people who have got a very clear idea of what they want to be and we cater for the people who know they want to be journalists but they're not quite sure what area of journalism they want to go into. So we have some very specialist streams, broadcast, magazine, um, sports for example, and then we have a more generic programme which is for people who want to kind of make their mind up as they're going along. But even across all of those programmes, students will be given a broad range of skills because I think specialising too niche, too soon, um, does kind of preclude you a little bit later on down the road. We have placements a part of the, the kind of degree programme all the way through. So um, students are encouraged to find and develop their own placements, but we also have an expert team here in Leeds Trinity that will help them do that. Um, and that's an essential part of their progression to the next level. So they're actually assessed on their, uh, their work placement. And we think this is critical. If you're going to uh, learn practical skills in a kind of classroom kind of environment, um, what makes that really meaningful is being able then to use those skills in a real life, um, real life situation. I would quote um, a phrase from Jimmy Wales, who is the, the founder of Wikipedia, and he said, and I think this sums up very nicely. Um, we all tell jokes, but we still have professional comedians. And I think that's our role as, as a journalists, is to train people properly in the skills, in fact-checking, in objectivity, in impartiality, in how to ask the right questions, how to find the right sources, how to construct and write news in ways that um, consumers will recognise it as news. I think those are all things that our students, as journalist trainees, will all have above and over the skills, or more rudimentary skills of a citizen journalist.